Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so time to get to some real work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these drilled out, get them fixed, rehelicoil. I have my helicoil kit right here. I'm using a M, M10 by 125 and a 1332 drill bit. I got my drill bit right here. DeWalt, let's see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't break or anything. And then I got my helicoil set right there. So I'm gonna be knocking this out. I got my air drill, some oil. I'm gonna go ahead and oil up my gun and get it ready to go. But yeah, let's hopefully we can fix this tonight and get the post mount back on and I can start getting this whole motor re, uh, resealed and hopefully get it ready to go back on the street. So first things first is definitely getting these fixed. So yeah, I got everything ready. Uh, I probably won't have it on raw content. I'll probably just put it on the time lapse because my air compressor is so loud and it's just gonna run constantly and all you're gonna hear is drilling. So it's gonna set you up on a good angle. I'll set you up on a good angle and uh, so you can see what's going on. I'm just, like I said, it's just drilling a hole, retapping, so it's not really anything super special. But yeah, we get this done and then we can start assembling this motor eventually and see where it, where it goes. So yeah, so I'm just gonna set you up somewhere and I'll uh, put you up on a time lapse. Um, what else? What else was? Oh, uh, go ahead and pull this oil pump off and everything too tonight, so I get that resealed and clean because I have, like I said, I got. Here's all the gaskets we're gonna be. Oil pan, oil pump, front main, rear main, uh, cam seals. Um, tube seals, yeah. yeah. All of it, we're gonna be resealing this whole motor up. So, VTEC solenoid gasket, yep, yep, cannon plugs. So, and that's all gonna go on this motor. So yeah, I will, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get to it. Like I said, it's one thing at a time. I think there's, no, no, okay, there's no more studs. Yeah, I think it's just those two I have to fix. So, set you on the time lapse, guys. And let's get this done. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my punch. I'm gonna put it as center as possible. I'm gonna punch a hole there, punch a hole right there. You see that? Right in the center as possible to keep the drill bit steady and go in nice and straight. So we'll start with that. Wish I had, let's see if I can put you guys on a better angle. Let's see what I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this transmission case cleaned up. She's looking a lot better. So I'm gonna finish it, get all the rest of this paint off and these little cracks as much as possible. That's what the other half looks like. So I'm gonna get this all wire brushed down, get it clean, make it look like this. The whole case should look really good when I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just knock that out. So put you, set you up for that one.
So check this out. So I've been drilling at this for a minute and slowly working it, but I was drilling at this one and it actually started moving. So it's actually coming out by itself. I've been tapping on it with a really pointy chisel. Just this guy right here, just slowly working it, tapping it around and it's actually been spinning out. So that's good. So this one's coming out, so I gotta work on this one. So I'm gonna get this one out, clean it all up. Then I'll work on getting this one out so I can get ready to re helicoil these or tap them and lock tight them and actually put some, get them back to normal. So that's good that that one's coming out. So now it's number two. So I'm gonna get back at it. Man, I got lucky on that one, guys. So check it out. I was drilling. I don't know if you can see another one that's too bright. But the coils in there are still good, the threads in there. So I got I'm just gonna insert new ones. But I was drilling, and as I'm not that bit, whatever. So I was drilling in there, and I I was just doing my thing, and I saw once it grabbed the drill bit grabbed, I saw the coil or I saw the bolt move. So I stopped immediately and I went ahead and went to my chisel and hammer or my punch and a hammer. And then as you saw, I was just sitting there slowly working it out until I got all the way to get some grip on it. And there they are, both of them completely out. Didn't have to re-drill it, thank God, because that was going to take forever. So I did not have to re-drill it. Popped them right out. So now I can just insert new coils lock tight those and now we can move on with the project so hell yeah look at that so no damage done really so now we can just put a fresh coil in there i'm so happy for that because usually usually my luck i'm drilling for hours and or something else goes wrong so i had all my drill bits ready Taps ready, extractors, you name it. I was all ready to go. And uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up tonight. And uh, it's getting late. We'll fix this one. And I'm said, I'm going to keep moving through each one of these and getting all of them prepped and ready to go. So, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. It's a short video. I was just wanting to hope I was hoping to just knock these out, which I did. So that's good progress there. And I'm gonna get the rest of this block cleaned up and we'll start getting ready to throw on some go fast parts. So thanks guys. Good night.